So what, from a diet perspective, obviously that's a big part of, of you know, getting, getting, getting the weight down. Like, are there any sort of food basics that you go to in most cases to say, okay, like, you know, here's where I'm going to start diet wise. Here's, here's what I'm going to imp- I'm going to put in and here's what I'm going to take out. That's exactly what I do. I start okay. a balanced diet between carbohydrates, fats, and protein. As the body changes, I'm able to add and take away because I'm looking to see I need to add to it, I need to take away from it and making my adjustments as I go. So it's, it's literally, maybe I take out the carbohydrates, build the fats back up, pull the fats back, more carbs, up the protein, change the type of protein from maybe more of a leaner protein like a fish, or I go to more of like a dense, more protein like steak or something like that. It all depends on how the body reacts and what you're looking like. It's very artsy what I do when it comes to the body. Right. And what with, with things like protein, like do you have any, is, are there any sort of, I suppose, rules the thumb, as I call it, um, that, that you find, you know, in most cases, this works across. Like, I know they say you should eat a certain amount of protein and you should prioritize protein. Are there any things like that that, that you've found are fairly consistent amongst, across everything? Yeah, you should, you know, every, every uh, a, a pound, a, a, gra- a, a gram of protein per body pound, per body weight. And I've always stuck to that. And if I'm trying to lose, I'm just going to back the protein down a little bit. I'm trying to gain up it just a little bit. So I've always kind of stuck in that range. That's really it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really simple when it comes to nutrition. I'm not all like everybody else. These diff- I can't do all that. I don't want to try it. What kind of proteins do you, do you recommend? Chicken, fish, right. steak, lean ground turkey, eggs. Um, yeah, the basic stuff. What about? Supplement, protein supplements, do you? Yeah, I use um, my protein. I like ISO 100. I love it. This is the best taste of protein to me. I love that. Um, I use BCAs. Um, I use um, Extend BCAs. I love that. Um, yeah, that's my, that's my go-to for supplements. Of course, I take my natural, you know, vitamins and minerals and things like that. But supplements that I need as far as when I'm training and working out or eating just, you know, as a meal, a meal replacement, that's my favorite protein. And what about the um, carb side of things? Like, what do you do? You have any recommendations? What, you know, for carbs that people sh- should or could that tend to work well? Carbs are your friend, first of all. People run away from carbohydrates like it's a scary movie. <laughs> <laughs> carbs. Well, they've got me. a bad rap recently, haven't they? They're kind of a, you know out of fashion, I suppose, with all this sort of keto and. Yeah, keto. Now keto is different. That's why keep, they'll throw you out of keto. Um, but I, you know, I stick to jasmine rice because it's more of a faster digesting. Um, Rice also helps to spike your insulin to help to, you know, get more blood into the muscle. Slow digestive uh, carbohydrate. It's like a sweet potato or brown rice. Um, that's kind of like my three favorites right there. That's what I stick to. Right. And what about fats? What's your, what's your view on fats? I'm, I like good fats. Good fats are really good for you. Um, I like, to, now I'm doing more like, um, of, of course I did the olive oil and I'm doing, um, but I started doing, um, I forgot the name of it. Um, I can't think of the name right now, but what I cook my food in. Um, Cause I gotta make sure. Like I, an air fryer, is it? I do. I use an air fryer, okay. but I usually rub this certain oil. Uh, not tallow oil. It's uh, God damn it! I forgot the name of it. But I use it a lot now. Um, but it's made from. It's, it's. It's. I was. I tried to do the animal. Animal based diet. We eating a lot of meat, mm-hmm. which it was amazing, but I didn't have a lot of energy from it. Um, Cause you gotta eat some really steak. I'm talking about really lean, lean steak that tastes amazing. Pretty, pretty expensive, so you gotta have some money to do that diet. Um, but it's a certain type of. Um, Fast that I were using, but good avocados. Um, you know, t- taking your omega three CLA. Um, you know, eating. You know, getting your eggs in. A lot of those things. A lot of fats from that really helps really well. Mm. Organs seem to be a thing at the moment. Like, what are your what are your views on on organs? Like, liver. I like I like liver. Um, if you have a liver problem, eat liver. Give your body what it's missing. Um, I haven't ate heart. I have not eaten heart. I don't drink blood. I'm not doing the whole vampire <laughs> thing. I uh, haven't done that yet. I kind of stayed away from it. Um, but yeah, liver is something I, I'm actually want to add liver to my diet like every day. So I have liver with my eggs in the morning. I wouldn't mind having liver right. with that. Because it's good for you. Liver is really good for you. Mm. Now, you the things that went on with liver king and all that, I don't know. I just know <laughs> I like, li- we used to eat liver when we were kids. Yeah, me too. Because yeah. We were poor, so we had liver. <laughs> it smelled like something else, but, yeah. it, but it tastes different. It's like, it's not a pork chop. <laughs> um, but yeah, liver is good. I like that. Yeah. I just started doing it. It's, it's difficult to get hold of. It's not in everywhere, is nah, it? No, it's not. And um, like I say, years ago, 
we used to have it, and we used to have it with onions and stuff. And yeah. I've started doing it, but it does. It it does. I've, I need to find a way where it doesn't stink the whole house out because exactly. it does. It does smell quite bad. It does. Um, and you can get some sort of like grisly bits in it, but um, I, I I do like it, and, and I'm sort of been you know testing to see how I feel on it, but it seems to yeah it seems to be quite popular at the mm -hmm. moment. Yeah, it is. What about fasting? Are you, do you do any intermittent? Do you believe intermittent um, or, or any kind of fasting? I had my phase. I've done intermittent fasting as well. Um, now I do intermittent fasting when I eat, eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't eat for like 16 hours and then I take it in. But intermittent fasting can be good. Um, but you should go off and on from it. You should always do it. Really? Because you want to make sure that you keep your metabolism guessing. Because intermittent fasting, sometimes it can slow your metabolism down because you're doing it so much. And then there's times when you want to spike it back up, boom. Then you go back to eating every three and a half hours or two hours, whatever you want to do throughout the day. But I kind of go back and forth. How many? How long would you do? Would you intermittent fast for? Like a week, two weeks, or? or I could do. So I do seven days. I do seven to ten days straight, and then I go to three days on, one day off. Okay. And what about like twenty for longer fasts? 20? I've done twenty four before. I've never did forty eight. I I couldn't do forty eight because I work out too much. Yeah. I pass the hell out. What did, do you feel that there's, what, what, what would be the reason for you to personally do like a 24? Reset your body. Right. Hard reset. Just like shutting off, just like you're trying to reach, when a fuse box goes off, just to reset everything. You know, get everything back normal, get everything back to its base, leveled out. Um, sometimes you need to shut everything down, let the body just catch up and feel, and then turn it back on. So I've done that before. And, and green drinks, do you do anything like that, like athletic greens or any of those types of products? I've taken athletic greens, which is amazing at that too. Um, athletic greens, holler at me. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I'm a fan, actually. Yeah, it is I'm, good. I'm, it is. It just seems to kind of just for, for my gut. It's, it's refreshing. Just, it's just it's 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 refreshing. That's the word. Yeah. Yeah. What about probiotics? Same thing. Gut health is important. You know, you want to make sure that you're keeping that cleanse, you're filtering that, those things out. So your probiotics, digestive enzymes, having your greens, those things are very help. They're, they're very important. Fiber, all of that is very important. How do you know to, how to? Because there's so many ones on the market, some are good, some are not good. How, how do you recommend people sort of find a good one to Talk to, to use? your doctor. Go and see your doctor? Yeah, because I don't know. No. I don't know all the time. I go look, I see, I go Google to see what's the best and I ask a physician or ask somebody that actually is really good at doing supplements and then I talk to them. Then also sometimes I just go see how I feel. Because sometimes the basic stuff, like if you take ibuprofen, Advil and basic ibuprofen is like, I'm going to take the basic ibuprofen because Advil added some other stuff in. I just want the main stuff. Mm. I, it's different. With the, um, you know, some of these supplements now, there's a lot of these testosterone boosters that have come onto the market. What do you think about those? I mean, to each his own. To each his own. I mean, I, I never took a testosterone booster before. Um, no, I never did that. I took like, you know, we take creatine and we take a lot of pre-workout and stuff to get you pumped up, but I never took that. A lot of stuff I was scared of. I just didn't want to mess my liver up or my kidney or nothing like that. So I don't, I don't know a whole lot about that type of stuff. What do you think for someone who's probably older and their, their testosterone is really low? So if you were training a, a, a client, you know, 50s, 60s, and they're, you know, for whatever reason, their testosterone has dropped, like how would you advise someone whether to take any kind of sub testosterone supplementation for, for them, maybe is that have you ever been asked on that? And how do you how do you advise clients if they if they're curious about that? Get your blood work done. Go see a physician. If the physician tells you your blood is low, you may have to do TRT or something like that. Then I suggest you do it. A man testosterone doesn't get higher as he gets older; it goes down. And when you know it's going down, it's because your body's missing a certain level of testosterone that it actually needs. So go to the doctor, get your blood work done, see where you're at, because you don't know what's going on in the inside. Let them see and then let you, and then take the direction from the doctor then. All right. mm -hmm. What about sleep? You talk about the importance of sleep and recovery. Are there any sleep aids that you take, um, ZMA or anything like that? That's that you. I take zinc, um, magnesium. Um, I'm sorry, Z not zinc, ZMA. Magnesium. Um, I take uh, melatonin, cherry root. How, with that melatonin, how do, how do you how often, how much do you take and how often do you take that? Then I don't take it. Uh, maybe like five milligrams. I don't do it all the time because I don't want to wake up groggy. But if I'm really trying to go to sleep, I take the gummies too because that's my little sweet treat too. 
So I take, uh, I do melatonin gummies, but it's like five grams, that's it. It's not all the time. Mm-hmm. But I'll take magnesium. Magnesium will knock you out. I didn't realize how, how hard magnesium knocks you out until I was like, why am I so tired one time? And I was out. Mag- magnesium is great for recovery. Right. And do you do any other kind of things before sleep to ensure that you get recovery? Like, do you do any ice or, or anything like that? No, I'm still working on that. I, will not, I won't lie on this camera and say that I sleep well. Hell no. My brain be doing the most. But then when I finally go to sleep, I'll be out. But I, I, you know, I'm, I'm working on sleep as I'm trying to get better at, at preparing for sleep and getting better at sleep. Because mm. I know that's another level to make you look even amazing. If you can recover, your body start. I feel like when you're sleeping, there's these little men working on your body and repairing yourself. And if you're not sleeping well, then they can't repair, so they're shaking and they can't get you done. I have a, such a crazy imagination. Um, but it's like, I, I need to go to sleep to build a better body. If I can't sleep well, then nothing is going on. Do you wake up in the night, middle of the night, and stay awake with your, some of your thoughts about stuff? You don't? Mm-hmm. I do. well, I've had anxiety before, why I woke up in the middle of the night. I was like, I can't sleep because I can't get this off my mind. Um, but then, yeah, it's never happened a lot. Mm. I pray. I'm, 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 I'm faith-based, so I pray. I said, Lord, take this from me. You can have this. Give it back to me in the morning. I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I need to try that.